Well, this is 1831, the 11th of September 2017, and we're continuing with experiments with the antenna system to avoid interference. This is the mini whip mounted at 550 centimeters high, which is kind of a recommended sweet spot. What we're listening to now, and the little tune you heard, is from Bangkok Metro, so it's pretty good to, to receive it from that distance speech isn't particularly clear. But it is there. So as you will have seen, the Mini Whip seems to work quite well. Now we're just taking a look at the earth setup for the Mini Whip, which it has to have. This is out by the tree where the mast for the Mini Whip is mounted. Now I found, um, doing a bit of research, that 550 centimetres is apparently the recommended height. Above this, uh, apparently the noise ratio will increase. The noise will increase and the signal won't increase much. So actually, going up higher, which I was doing, and was at 770 centimetres, uh, wouldn't have worked. Now you're just seeing the current mounting position now, which is the 550 centimetres. It's actually within the tree itself. Um, it doesn't seem to make any difference to reception, the fact that it's got leaves and branches around it. In fact, it works really, really well. And after this, I'll present you with a number of recordings of uh, HF and uh, long wave recordings, mostly NDBs and some amateur radio operators, which proves that this setup is quite low noise, still does suffer from the dreaded PLT from two doors down, but uh, it's certainly better than it was at 770 centimetres. So the key for me, uh, much as I like the old Welbrook ALA 1530 loop, will be to stick with the Mini Whip, keep it at 550 centimetres and see how things go. this this Shannon Volmet really loud and clear. Ladder, ladder, no report. 
poet was here. He was Shannon Volmer. Shannon Volmer. In Miami, people came out of homes and shelters to assess the damage. The powerful winds toppled thousands of trees and caused three cranes to collapse here. Most people are without power. At least 10 people are known to have died when the hurricane passed over Cuba, bringing the total number of fatalities in the Caribbean to almost 40. The storm hit Cuba on Friday, but the authorities still haven't been able to assess the full scale of the damage. The hurricane has caused widespread devastation across the Caribbean. Hundreds of thousands of Catalans are rallying in Barcelona in support of a planned independence referendum that Spain's central government has now won't happen. Last week, Spain's constitutional court placed a legal block on the referendum scheduled to take place on the 1st of October. Now, we thought that the referendum will take place on the 1st of October. But the issue sounds a deeply discordant note in Madrid. The Constitutional Court has suspended the region's referendum law, and the Spanish government has promised to block the vote. The two sides. Um... Well, this is the voice of Vietnam. It's 1900 to 1930 broadcast. With this beautiful song, today's show has come to an end. Thank you for listening to the Rose of Vietnam. So now, goodbye. following day and we have an NDB sending OI twice and let's just check it should be on 489 there's the carrier It is indeed. Now look at the noise floor. In fact, what I'm going to do is turn off DSP completely. There's a little bit of static crashing and some thunder around local, well, not local, within a few hundred miles. be OI on 489 from Kaliningrad, Russia, which is 900 miles. Time is currently 1908. Just need to get it confirmed because the offsets aren't right. It's uh, changed to 400 hertz offsets, but it's very likely to be Kaliningrad.
And you can see there the needle's not moving. So it shows how low the noise is. But what we're pulling in there is BL NDB on 510 kilohertz. And that is actually in Algeria. Which is a thousand and four miles away from my location. And the time now is twenty oh one UTC. And that is the PLT power line networking that uh, two doors along for me have installed. Ofcom's been out, but Ofcom told them they could carry on using it. It's nice, isn't it? However, by moving them when he went down, I've reduced that from maybe 8, S8, S9, down to an S6, which I suppose is better. But nonetheless, that's the effect of PRT noise. Yeah, that was a amateur radio operator in Virginia, USA. This is not Ladies and gentlemen, this is very this is very clear. You refuse to stand by any station outside, outside of Europe and outside of North America, please. I guess not. Nine Yankee, four Delta, if you are this. Nine Yankee, four Delta in Trinidad and Tobago. Why is why? Only the EQ plus. The reason why I'm here is because you're the equalizer within the radio on the EQ plus box. 
That is something that everybody should invest in. If you have a large of crap that people buy and have a rack for the rack, you don't need all of that. All you need is a little bit too fast, my dude, that's all. There it is, all. Uh, my papa, hold on a second, I'll get you in a second. Now, everything is fine, I can't complain. I'm living here on a rock in the Caribbean, nothing to complain about, though. My papa, what you call? Papa, you know, I Okay, Sandro, but you see, you're also five and nine and about five years ago. Very nice, you know, very good, 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 This is 2115. Okay, I think I'm going to get to the 